Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Anchorage and we are continuing with exhibition. So we are going to take a look at Ragnar Blar RE3. For the longest time, or for for a few years at least, uh, this was uh, more or less my pride and joy. I did the most work in here up to a certain point um, and continued with it and then it just became just a place just to kind of log into and just kind of you know fly around check it out maybe do a little something everything like that and um and of course uh project fred did a bunch uh at this point i think adorable kitties had changed her 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 call sign over to silkian student which who knows if it's even that today it's i think it's uh something called Sedona Bell, but I could be wrong. At least that's that's what it is out, out on Discord. Uh, which I really don't like. It's just... Ugh. All those animated GIFs. Holy monkey. But either sense. About this. Uh, we're moving on to Ragnar Blar RE3, which was the Pride and Joy for a long time. Um... There is uh, one other world later on that uh, I believe I did a video on, um, which I'll get into at that time. But this is Ragnar Blar RE3 where I went nuts on a particular village. And uh, I actually built my own village uh, way off in the northwest. Uh, for the longest time it was called Stoneton or something. Um, Let's see, uh, Sokian did a bunch out there. Uh, let's see, what we got over here? Ugh. Ugh. Let's see, I've got a ruins from an old village that I built. Uh, we've got, this is where I started to use, um, I forget what they're called, but, you know, they kind of float and they spin and... You shoot it with an arrow and it, and it explodes. Uh, I forget the name of it, but I was using that as kind of like a power plant core of sorts. And uh, for this uh, particular uh, ruins, ruined village, um, it's ancient. It's nothing but ruins. And but that the uh, that thing was still there. So uh, the story on it is, uh, I mean. It's, long story short, yeah, it's still there, and that's the reason why the village is in ruins because everybody got sick and died, or they were getting sick and they left. Who knows? Whatever. So, a little bit of fiction there uh, in the Minecraft world. So, but without any further delay, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and check it, and check this out, and let me know what you think. So, thank you very much, and enjoy it. Hey everybody, guess what? It is time again for a Craft Quest Exhibition. It's Shadow Strike. Why don't we get rolling on it? A little bit of this. And we are looking at a uh, little bit of foliage. And uh, there's a nice cute little chicken right there. So this edition of Exhibition is going to be on the last world that I created prior to to the use of craft being uh, now as in with uh, Blue Eagle version 1 and 2 Blue Eagle version 3 which is this one was also done on that micro ATX box however those worlds are now being hosted on a Raspberry Pi so I've gone in and uh, just like with the last couple of editions or so uh, I've uh, the first two I've, I went around in game and it was a bit choppy that's because of my computer which is uh, very budget and it is not uh, video production happy so as far as 
as you fly around you know it's not game specific it's not good for, for, for stuff for recording or streaming uh, as you're playing so I went back to my slideshow format and I went around and I grabbed a bunch of pictures for the last one and I'm doing that for this one and going forward that's how I'm going to do it so this is Blue Eagle version 3 and that is the main reason why I call this Blue Eagle version 3 it's for the sake of this village and uh, this village does not look anything like this of course when you first uh, generate the world and such uh, you know I built this up to the point of where you see it and one gigantic uh, thing that's flying that's wagging its arms at you is that big yellow thing that is the uh, current version of what I call a command node and uh, that is to uh, point a nod to that 70s TV show Land of the Lost uh, of the pylons now what did those look like in the show well they looked like this somewhat you know it's about three meters tall and uh, you've got this little thing poking out that's actually the uh, for lack of a better term a door handle it's a tetrahedron um, of sorts. Well, it's not four, but you know, it's a three-sided uh, conical thing that you turn uh, one third, and it will open up the door like so. And when you turn it again, it'll actually shut, and it just kind of phases in and phases shut and stuff, stuff like that. Now, in, now, in the reality of it, this thing is about the size of two to three phone booths, but it's much bigger than a phone booth. Like I said, it's about three meters tall, so it's about nine feet, nine or ten feet. Uh, and, of course, the inside is probably about, mm, let's see, seven feet across, so seven by seven, 49 square feet. So it's not all that big. Um, but the concept of these is in the show is you step inside and you're stepping inside of a pocket universe so basically the inside is you know when you walk to the right a few feet you don't hit a wall you just keep on walking and walking and walking so that's what that is that that's what that whole thing back up that's what that whole building is to mimic so land of the lost there we go so when we go inside the village one key point is this walkway uh, over to the right is where that walkway leads to and there is another portal there I call it another gate and then of course you've got these uh, redstone uh, lamps and I've got daylight centers on top so that when it turns nighttime it gets lit up so and then down below you can see that little sp that little dot of green underneath the walkway um, I'll show you what that's all about. This is what it's all about. Now this is further down that hole. You see creepers in the wall with some web around it. And of course you see something that looks like a pit. And then of course you see a nether portal or nether gate. Uh, however you want to look at it. Uh, this was done by Project Red. And um, as you can see like uh, with the uh, creepers on the right hand side. Of course I call them cree stacks in these worlds. Uh, but the uh, those creepers are you know you can see his face if you look at the one on the far right here you can see his face and then when you actually look across at the three on the left you can see that they're facing in you don't see their faces that's because Project Red didn't know the command to reposition them so that they face out here is a shot from the outside of the village and uh, Project Red and Soaking Student actually built that little house and Soaking Student actually built this other house over here on the left with the lava uh, she built it up and then she destroyed it and, and caused uh, a little bit of a uh, lava film so and uh, at the time that this world was built which was back in uh, mid 2014 um, Soaking Student and Project Red were fans of Tobuscus, uh, Toby Turner, and so uh, Soaking Student made this jungle tree in the middle, 
and uh, put the vines all over it and put the sign on that calls it tree buskis and out and uh, you know in the corner of the village there's you see that railing there well, not that railing but you see that railway and it goes out to that little hut uh, to the, towards the upper left area there it made out of the stone work uh, that there's actually another portal in there which is serves as a uh, an exit point why it just doesn't return to the uh, other another portal I have no idea but it has something to do with you know the eight block you know eight blocks versus one stuff like that but you know the way that I'm thinking is like if you go into a, another portal in one spot when you exit it should come out the same spot especially if you go out and in the same uh, nether portal in the nether so then you got a little house over there and I built that wall now here's another nod toward land of the lost basically I saw this uh, little cave type thing in the side of a hill and I decided to make it uh, the way you see it here excuse me but um, you can see the uh, the similarity here uh, it's, it's a little bit triangular and you see some things poking out and that's for the sake of uh, lifting things out off the ground and it's based off of that you can see that, that you've got that that image up there it's a little bit triangular got the thing poking out now over over near the uh, that lava house you have something here it looks like a redstone power station and here it shows the power station in the very center and then you see some broken up uh, channels uh, the story behind this and this is a little bit of a little bit of a world lore that I remember is that this is a central power plant of sorts for the world and those four directional um, pathways are for redstone dust to be lit up and stuff like that but you see this broken up a little bit well over the centuries over the eons you know and such you know you know things break down and things fall apart and up here on the far right hand side you can see a piece of that uh, one direction going back to this like if you look at that pathway on the left going to the lower left corner this is the other end of it over here on the right and um, it kind of leads to this little uh, little hut made out of hay and uh, it's uh, actively being used and uh, you see a nether brick thing over there that would be the uh, the redstone substation as it were and here we have as I was flying south I came across this spot and saw that there's this nether portal here I uh, I don't remember that one specifically, but I do remember coming out randomly one time, and apparently this is where it is. Now, you, you see I've got this fence here. Now, I went around and I built this fence all the way around the world. And um, back in 14, uh, the household was uh, fans of the story of Hunger Games, and this fence represents the border of the district as it were and because I, I used a, a mapping program at the time I wanted to be able to see the border fairly easily so I built a copy up in the sky directly above it and then in the uh, southeast corner is a one of these command node pylon things and uh, this one here you can see that it is partially finished this is to show that it was partially done uh, the nether portal inside does work and uh, you know but it just shows it to be incomplete and a little nearby here yeah, just a random uh, lava pit and here is something interesting in the last uh, world I had created uh, one of these, I believe, and that in two. That was in two. This is three. So this is the first time I actually built uh, a, uh, a a lost city of sorts from Land of the Lost. And um, over on the left, you see that humongous creeper. That's something that Project Fred uh, uh, propagated. 
and uh, it just stands there and it is named Big Alice to mimic the Allosaurus in Land of the Lost keeping an eye you know, that walks around the Lost City so this is that representation of that and how do I know that this looks like the Lost City well if we look at it from the show you can see where I got the inspiration from inside the center you go in you will go walking in and you see this and you can see these different colors on the floor and up on the walls and that is all to represent the power crystals from Land of the Lost and the glowstone is there just for the sake of being able to see and also it's pretty now further down the hall the, that corridor that stone walkway you come to some stairs and you go all the way down and you go to actually go down into a mine uh, an actual mine the actual lost city as it were and we get another command node along the way oh and there's another one and there's a little hut here oh uh, you know it's for watchers people to keep in, keep keep an eye on things here is a random village that I built myself and here's the start of another village that I built all by myself. I called it Stoneton, or Stoneton, uh, if you want to get a pronunciation on that. I, I built this little here, and I'm like, you know, this is nice and everything, but I want something bigger. So I went off to the left there, and I built that bridge. And you'll see why in a second here. But uh, I wanted a larger area. And I wanted roads, and I wanted to build houses and buildings and things of that sort. And here we are, and that's what I built. So, this is what I call Stoneton. And uh, this is uh, one portion of it. You can see where that bridge is over there on the top right area. And you can see all the houses I built and all the other buildings. I built that little farm and just a bunch of random stuff. And then off in the far side, you can see that I built this looks like a pylon looks like a command node pyramid thingy but it's all made out of emerald and you can see I've got another uh, random uh, command node now all of these command nodes all these yellow things I built everything by hand I didn't know about the existence of world at it at the time and of course a little bit of a watch hut and then we've got another village down here I built that of course and then we've got another command node and a little watch post and here we have another thing towards uh, Tard Nord's uh, nod towards uh, this guy that's Minecraft a do not laugh platform and then we see this here we got command node number five so this is in the dead center of the world nearby that command node we have this stone kind of built uh, village and uh, of course it looks like a bunch of ruins it's meant to look like that because if you see that black thing up there that looks like a black building there is a nether crystal inside of there so at some point everybody you know the, the town disappeared and fell in the ruins over the years who knows why it might have to do with that nether crystal so the story goes there's a better shot of that so you can see the ruins you know random little hut in a house in the middle of nowhere and then when you go down into the nether through the nether gate in Ragnar Blarari that's that first village you saw you come out to this now I had mentioned before that uh, Project Red it used to be called the True Sonic Fan 1. And if you look at all these, these are quote unquote Chaos Emeralds. And this is the Nether Fortress nearby. And here we have a shack for the End Portal. We also call it an End Gate, if you wish. You go inside the hut and you look all the way down on the ground. Well, there it is all the way down there. And when you go inside, you, <laughs> you get met by all these guys. They're sitting on the on the platform. But the platform is connected to the main uh, island of sorts with a bridge. And you can see the uh, those big tower things. And you go out there and you can see that there is... That the portal in the center is working the ender dragon was killed so 
and of course all the ender crystals are all gone. So that was this uh, this edition, and that was the last world that I actually put together uh, outside of Craftian and uh, over a Craftian server. But it is now hosted on a Craftian server, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's so big, and, and there is a lot of detail. And when you use my resource pack that I use, it looks phenomenal. Uh, but uh, catch me online at over on Bird Sight at real underscore craft quest, or over on the Mastodon Mirror, mastodon.social slash at craft quest. And that is essentially the end of this uh, presentation. Uh, on the next one, it might be a little different because I actually start using Craftbian as the hosting uh, computer of worlds and I actually generate worlds from those units, uh, from uh, Spigot servers inside of Craftbian. So thank you very much and uh, smash the like button smash that subscribe say what's on your mind for real um, no posting any comments in relation to um, boosting yourself getting your own exposure um, outside of you know minecraft and stuff like that stuff about videos and stuff like that I mean I, I look at those comments and I approve every single comment and um, I haven't had any comment outside of one person that just says, can we be friends? So, um, I'm not going to approve requests like that. And I'm not going to request of like, you know, let's boost each other up. No, I am not going to do that. Um, I'm not interested. So, don't try to sneak it in because if I feel like you're taking an ulterior motive, it's not coming up. Yep, I'm pretty strict. But, you know, if you happen to like something about the video, uh, you know, let me know what that thing is and tell me what it is. Uh, if you think I can do anything else, if you want to provide some help, please do so. Or even make your own video and uh, in response to this one, and I'll be glad to watch it. So, uh, sorry about that. Uh, so, it's Shadow Strike, and this is Craft Quest Exhibition. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you next time. So. Whew, alright. So, I hope you liked that. You can see from everything that's going on in there that, you know, some time had gone by, and I got used to it, you know, using Minecraft more extensively to a degree. Um, nothing super special, uh, you know, it's like I wasn't using all these add-ons or anything like that because I'm, I'm big on the core software and, you know, it's like, you know, I used it as a sandbox. It's just some place to strictly build things and just be happy with that. I don't need to, uh, play necessarily, kill things, do things, whatever, you know, it's just like... I just like building. That's so I just go into what I, I forget the mode. It's been so long. Um, you know, player mode, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And so I just do that. So that was Ragnar Blar Ari three, which uh, from watching the video, that was the last one actually made on that ITX board uh, machine, which I don't have anymore. I actually just recently got rid of that thing. Uh, because it had been sitting up on the shelf for years and um, I, I wasn't going to be using it anymore so I, I disposed of it I got it, it's no longer in my possession it's gone um, it's uh, and because I'm a Battlestar fan it was called the hybrid and um, because it was just something that I pieced together you know I got the housing with the board in it and I added the RAM and I added a an obstacle drive to it and stuff like that. I tried to put on um, a USB 3 port on the, the on the uh, PCI slot that was in there, but yeah, the the it was the wrong size. So 
not a big deal uh, but in either sense comment like and subscribe and uh, when we get on to the next one we are actually going to craft being generated worlds so here we go um, enjoy and uh, we'll talk to you later so thank you very much oh and just one last thing uh, that uh, Mastodon account uh, for craft quest I just checked and it still does exist I, I I was thinking I never got rid of that thing did I I just kind of said hey I'm not using it anymore or it's not it's not valid anymore or something like that I put a red X on my icon on the avatar icon and stuff like that and um, but it is still there and you can go reading through it I'm scrolling back through to see uh, just how far back it goes I'm in the May of 2020 right now uh, so I will see we'll see how that goes so um, we will talk to you later thank you very much skull